Here's one thing to stop doing if you're coping with a breakup. We've all been there. You're wanting to be with someone and they don't want to be with you. Whether it's not getting asked out again on that next date, the ending of a situationship, or the ending of a more long-term relationship, coping with a relationship ending is hard. It stirs all of our relational wounds, abandonment, rejection, feelings of unworthiness. And when this energy is triggered, we all have different ways we cope with this emotional pain. One way you might be coping with the loss of a relationship is projecting your pain onto the other person. You might be making it about them by saying things like, what's wrong with them that they don't want to be with me? Clearly they're stupid because they don't want to date me. They're a loser, they're toxic, they don't deserve me. Typically, statements like these are a way to bypass feeling our emotions by putting our attention on the other person and how it must be an issue with them, helping us avoid our emotional pain. And yes, let's be clear, some of these statements that you're making might have a golden thread of truth woven through them. But if you're finding yourself stuck in your emotional pain after the relationship ends, it's time to start looking at how these statements are blocking you from feeling your feelings. Here's an invitation to support you in deeper processing so you can release yourself from suffering and finally move on. When you deepen your curiosity about what's being triggered within you, you can support yourself and meet your needs and stop projecting. I invite you to ask yourself, what does it say or mean about me as a person if they don't want to be with me? Allow whatever is the first answer to come up. Then ask yourself, what does it say about me if this person didn't choose me? And notice your answer. These questions poke at your core beliefs about yourself, so it might activate some emotional energy. And that's okay. It's welcomed, actually. We want to be able to touch on what is being triggered for you and support yourself directly instead of hiding behind judgments of the other person. For example, what is wrong with them that they don't want to be with me might turn into I'm worthless. And although objectively this thought isn't true because our worth isn't dependent on someone else's acceptance or rejection of us, a part of you might feel like it's true. And this is heavy energy to be with. But in the long run, Learning how to identify what's being triggered within you and how to support yourself in this emotional energy is exactly what will set you free from your suffering and help you move forward toward a relationship that is more in alignment with you and what you desire. If the questions I shared feel hard to explore right now, maybe start with this one. What is the truth about how I'm feeling that I'm not wanting to see or feel? This can open the door to deeper curiosity that can help guide you in how to support your emotional needs right now. And remember, you are worthy and deserving of a deep love and connection. Your worth is not dependent on someone outside of you.